Okay, so I wanted to take a video real quick of a uh, brush cutter that I got. I have been wanting a brush cutter for a number of years. And um, I just never did it. Um, I don't know, expense and then, uh, you know, just using the, uh, the bush hog that I have on my tractor would kind of suffice. And, um, you know, I just made do. But, um, you know, I recently bought another skid steer. And when I bought this skid steer, one of the first thoughts was, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and incorporate in the budget that I want a brush cutter. Because I just, I just have a use for it. it um, uh, a bush hog on a tractor is one thing. And, um, you know, for the most part, I... I cut pasture and and I cut uh, other areas and just and try to keep them maintained. But in terms of uh, actual property maintenance, I just always felt that a um, a brush cutter for my skid steer would do a much better job. So um, so I I made this I want to make this video because you know when I was looking around for these brush cutters, I could find all kinds of information about all kinds of different ones that are out there. But when it came to the MTL series or the MTL manufacturer brush cutters, I just couldn't find a whole lot of information out there. I was able to go to their website and uh, read up on you know, their product. But when it came to you know, I, I go to Google, I go to YouTube, and, uh, you know, I see what people have out there and what their experience is. And I just could not find a whole lot of information. And so um, I just kind of got interested in trying to find out more information about these brush cutters. And so I eventually ended up calling the people I went to mtlattachments.com. I got the information. They sell a lot of stuff out there, not just brush cutters, but uh, uh, grapples, buckets, um, dozer blades, just all kinds of stuff. Any, any kind of attachment that you can think of for your skid steer, they manufacture. And so after talking to them and after going to their website and getting information um, and, and price point was another thing, I decided that uh, I was going to purchase one. And the one that I purchased was the MTL XCT, X meaning Extreme Series. And uh, right there on the top. And then a, a lot of their, the attachments that they manufacture they have different versions of them all the way up to their extreme series which would be their heavy duty and so this particular brush cutter is their x series and then the uh, xct x obviously x series and then ct means carbide teeth and i'll show you what that means when i lift it up and show you the underside of it but, uh, you know, I'm not here as a salesman for this company or anything like that. I was just looking for a brush cutter. And uh, I was just trying to get at a price point that was going to be reasonable for me and what I was going to be using it for, which is on my personal property. I'm not using this on a, in a commercial type of uh, situation. I'm using it on my personal property. And... Um, and I went ahead and made the, the commitment on it. And uh, so this is a video about my first impressions of it. I do have probably about six to eight hours of use on this machine at this point. I operate this on a Bobcat S300. And this is a standard flow machine. And this is a standard flow brush cutter. Now it does go up to, as the front of it says 17 to 27 gallons per minute and I, I believe manufacturer specs on my Bobcat I have to look it up just to be specific but I know that it maxes out at about 2400 rpm um, and I may be wrong about that uh, as far as the rpm is concerned 
at right at 27 gallons per minute. So, um, you know, being that I do not have a high flow machine, I was not going to need a high flow brush cutter. Um, and after talking to them, I just decided that I'd go ahead and, and make a commitment and purchase one. So my first thoughts on this, after having about six to eight hours on it at this point, I believe, um, first of all, let me just say this. It's a very, very well manufactured brush cutter. And um, I'm not just saying that because I purchased it, but I'm saying that because when you look, you have steel tubing across here that makes a steel box frame all the way around this. And not just that, but the welds are just absolutely unbelievable on this thing. Full quality welds all the way across it. Everywhere that you look, it's just very, very well made. And so here's something else when I was talking to the guys uh, before I purchased this thing. And that was that... Uh, I said, hey man, I see these things on eBay. And they said, does it say MTL on it anywhere? And I said, well, I don't know. I, I mean, I just see these ones that have that very distinctive front end on them. And they said, yeah, well, if it does not say MTL, it is not one of ours. It's a copycat. So I didn't know that. I mean, you know, going into this, I, I had... I was trying to do my research on brush cutters. I had looked at Bradco. I had looked at uh, Skid Pro. I had looked at uh, CID and I don't know, a, a handful of other ones that are out there. Obviously Bobcat has, has their brand that they sell. And um, so I didn't realize that, you know, when you, you, you end up on eBay, you do a Google search, you end up on eBay at some point and you see these ones that have this very distinctive front end on them. And I thought, oh, okay, well, these are just the ones they sell on eBay. But they were quick to point out to me that if it doesn't say MTL on it, it's not one of their products, that it's a copycat. Uh, so, you know, so my in initial impressions is that this thing is heavy duty it's very, very well made. This particular one that I have, the XCT model, is a piston drive. And uh, it also is reversible with this H valve that is right here in the middle and that you can reverse flow on it. So being that it is a, a two-sided blade that's up underneath there, if you wanna reverse flow on it, you can just take that H valve and you can swap it in the other direction and then you can use both sides of the blades that are up underneath it uh, and then it also has the carbide teeth for mulching and so we'll lift this thing up in just a second but um, you know like I said I just wanted to make the video because when I was out there doing the research for it I just could not find a lot of stuff about the MTLs I did see a couple of videos that one guy had put up where he was using it and uh, and a few comments and you know he said he liked it and and that kind of thing so I just thought I would throw something out there about this MTL XET series being that I purchased it and um, so I'm kind of committed to it at this point but um, and here's another thing about these in particular the XCT series is that they are a three blade and no matter what size you get, you're getting a three blade. So I know another, a, a bunch of other ones that are out there, other manufacturers, you know, if, if you're in about the 68 inch series, uh, maybe 72, I don't know, I'd have to go back and do my research, but uh, they can be three blade or four blade if you go to uh, a larger width. In this case, with this particular brush cutter, you're only ever going to get a three blade. So that's another thing to point out. Um, and, and, and other impressions are, is that, um, you know, the hoses are top quality Parker hoses. That was another thing that I was impressed with. The, um, you know, the fittings, 
uh, you know, I, I, I've done a lot of, had a lot of fittings replaced and hoses replaced on my tractor and that kind of thing that has a front end loader. So, but I'm really impressed with the fact that they put Parker hoses on there right from the very beginning. They're not going to mess around with something cheap. They just go for nice quality hoses. And, um, and like I said, the welds and construction and everything else on this thing is, uh, is top notch um, so that's just my initial impressions and uh, so let me go ahead and lift this thing up and then we'll look up underneath it and see what the construction is up underneath there that's probably the most important part okay so uh, probably the most important part and that's what's going on up underneath this machine um, so I guess the first thing to point out is that this is a, a sandwiched carrier design, blade carrier design. So let me see if I can get in here without too many shadows. So as you can see right here, it's actually two carrier blades with the blade sandwiched in between. And uh, <laughs> I've already gone out and kind of given it its due diligence. Uh, like I say, I, six, eight hours, but I plan on doing a lot more now with it because I really need this, this cutter. Uh, but the carbide teeth. So that's what we're looking at right here. And those are your mulching teeth. And so that gives you the ability that, you know, once you cut something down, that you can travel over the top of it and you can mulch it up. And so I've tried that, um, you know, up to this point, I'm gonna, you know, we'll, we'll do some demo on this here in just a minute and uh, show you more about it. But um, it does a really nice job. Now given, it, everything's fairly new at this point, six, eight hours uh, at best, and uh, blades are all sharp, those carbide teeth are sharp. So, you know, it's, it's performing uh, the way that I would expect it to at this point. Another thing that I really liked about this when I was looking at it was the bolts that hold the carrier to the motor itself. I like the fact that they are recessed into that plate and that those bolts are not hanging down because that just has a tendency to destroy those bolt heads and tear them up to the point where in the future, if you want to try to uh, get this plate off, replace blades, that kind of thing, that those bolts are so torn up that uh, you almost have to cut them off. And, and that, that may end up being the case in the future anyway. But uh, I like the fact that they're recessed in there and it gives them some protection so that in the future, if, if I need to get a socket on there or a wrench in there, then uh, I have something to grab onto instead of those getting torn up. And instead of those bolt heads actually becoming kind of your, your uh, mulcher, um, that's not what they're there for, obviously. They're there to hold the, the carrier in place. And uh, so I like the fact that they're recessed in there to try to give them some protection. Now, I will say this, there is a drawback to these, this sandwiched plate design. And that is that um, if you ever hit anything really big and you bend this blade and then that blade ends up getting wedged inside of that sandwich, then you're out of operation right then because this is a a balanced blade carrier design where all three of those things have to be out there flying in the wind in order to give this thing the balance that it needs. If one of them gets wedged up inside of that, that uh, sandwich, then you're out of operation. You've got to stop right then. You've got to look at replacing the blade. So that would be a drawback to that sandwich blade design. But in terms of strength and in terms of the amount of mass that you have rotating up underneath this thing for your cutting ability then i think the sandwich plate design it would definitely be considered you know one of the the stronger um, 
designs that's out there right now. Now, as far as the uh, carbide teeth are concerned, if uh, you wear those down, then they would have, have to actually be cut off of the bottom of the carrier. And then they do have replacements. So you could get them and uh, just weld them right back into place again. Um, as far as the blade is concerned, so that's another thing. This is an AR400 blade, and it is three quarter of an inch thick and it's six inches wide and it's sharpened on both edges so you can actually re reverse the direction on this so uh, just like I showed you on the top side of this that uh, H valve that's in there that determines the direction of your hydraulic flow you can reverse that and you can just use those blades in the opposite direction so that you can get uh, maximum use of those blades on both sides so anyway, um, that's the unit. The, the reason that I've, uh, once again, that I did this video is because when I was out there doing the research on it, I, um, I just couldn't find all that much stuff uh, about these MTLs. So I just thought that I would put something out there and what my impression is of it and uh, once again, my initial impression is, is that this thing is very, very well made. And the blade carrier assembly up underneath it is as heavy duty as I would imagine that's out there in the industry. The blades are huge and, um, and it does a nice job of cutting. But uh, let's go ahead and shoot some video of it cutting and then um, we'll see how it does. Okay, I just wanted to show you an area that uh, I came back and uh, cut uh, last, I guess it was last week sometime. But uh, this whole area right here that I've cleared, I've done this several times over the years back here in this area. This is back behind my barn. And this area kind of backs up to a lake, which is just right through those trees. Um, but anyway, and I've always done this with the, uh, the bush hog on my tractor, but it hasn't been done in a couple years. And so this was the first thing that was on my mind when I got that brush cutter, that this was an area that I wanted to clean up. And so I was back here just the other day cutting this. I want to say this area that we see that I have cleared right here. Oh, I don't know. What, what are we looking at here? Maybe... I don't know, maybe maybe a half acre, because it, it kind of goes up around those trees a little bit too. Maybe an hour, and it all looked like this, right over here. So I'll get in here and cut some of this up, and uh, we'll film that so you can kind of see how this thing performs. But you can see what it uh, what it does. It does a nice job, and I mean, you know, this this is kind of what you're going to have left on the ground with any of these these brush cutters it's just going to leave uh, you know nice ground contact with what's left and um, you know cuts it down cuts it down pretty nice and I like the fact that you can get in really close to some of these trees you can get right next to them and just get some of this stuff that's growing right next to the tree which you can't really do with a bush hog so anyway just kind of want to give you a show you that this is what I had already done with this last week. So I'll get in here and cut some of this in here.
kind of get an idea as far as, you know, that material, that's not the thickest stuff in the world. Um, this thing is advertised to be able to take down up to eight inches. That's an awful big tree. Um, I mean, it'll probably do it. I think that it's powerful enough to do it. Um, I think, you know, you'd be tearing your equipment up, I think. But uh, anyway, eight inch tree, it didn't say anything about how big of a rock, but I just found out that it'll chew up a pretty good size rock. That was completely unintentional. I try to look for those as best I can. There's another one sitting waiting for me right there. But anyway, uh, you know, you can see just with this size material and cleaning up this kind of area, it does a really nice job. And uh, it, it did this, what, 10 minutes? So yeah, it does a nice job. Okay, so that is my tutorial video, whatever, on the uh, MTL brush cutter, the XCT. And, uh, you know, I'll get back maybe in six months or a year or something like that after I've used it a bunch and um, see how it's holding up.